This morning on Fountain News, collection of items for the less privileged comes up next Sunday. Baby dedication holds toward the end of the second service. Good morning and welcome to this episode of Fountain News. I am Ibora Tonya Edit. Now, collection of items for the less privileged by the Hope Center will hold next Sunday. That is May 1st. Drop-off is at the Fountain Gardens after the first service. Please ensure the items you want to drop off are in very good condition. Clothing items should be washed, ironed and neatly packed. The center will appreciate it if items for men and children are included. Please note that damaged or worn out items will not be accepted. Today is Family Sunday, so there is no on-site or online children's church. Children who are in church should therefore stay with their parents or guardians. And because it's Family Sunday, there will be baby dedication toward the end of the second service. So if you are in church to dedicate your baby, please carry the baby yourself when it is time to step out and have a bottle of anointing oil with you. You will be told what to do with it at the appropriate time. In other announcements, Home Fellowship holds this evening at 6 o'clock. Please note that there are several Home Fellowship centers still meeting only online. To join them, please check the Fountain of Life Church link tree on Instagram for details. Singles Fellowship resumes tomorrow at 6 p.m., while Bible study continues online this Tuesday at 6 p.m. Prayer meeting follows at 6.45 p.m. Shower service holds on site and online this Thursday at 9 a.m. The daily webinar prayers hold Monday to Friday from 11.30 p.m. to 12.15 a.m. Now that the rains are here, here are some safety tips if you find yourself in the rain. As much as possible, do not try to walk through fast-moving water. This is because as little as six inches of rushing water can knock people off their feet. Now, if you must walk through a flood, use a stick to check the firmness of the ground in front of you. Now, if you are driving, avoid driving into fast-moving water as just 12 inches of rushing water can sweep a small car away. If for any reason flood water rises around your car and continues to rise, abandon the car and move to a higher ground if you can do so safely. Do not touch electrical equipment if you are standing in water or are wet. May the good Lord continue to protect us and all around us in Jesus' name. Now, if your birthday or wedding anniversary was last week or is today, please rise as we rejoice with you.